All set. Good morning. This is uh, the uh, Thursday, August 31st, the 2023 meeting of the uh, Public Service Committee of the Garden City Council. Uh, all members are present. The meeting will come to order. Uh, first item we have on our agenda is um, did anybody uh, take this meeting other than staff? Then we'll proceed further. The next uh, item is uh, water and sewer appeals. The first uh, one is 65 Waterford Street. This is a carryover, I think. Thank you. Good morning. Good morning. Hello, Hello again. Hello. <laughs> so we're here in your appeal. What would you like to tell us? All right, so I did get a reading. The past two months, my usage was 1,100. I don't know if it's CU, the proper measurement. And then for this bill, it came to 2,300. So that would include when the water tank hose snapped. Okay. And what, are, what is it you're asking us to do? Uh, just to, um, I guess, discount the bill because of the incident that occurred. We replaced the water tank. Uh, there was water damage in the basement that we had to to rectify um, and we're new homeowners so this wasn't something that we had anticipated. Was it in the budget then? Oh uh, well it wasn't expected during the home inspection so that if this is something we'd have to replace so you know had we been told that you know this is going to go at some point please look into replacing it we would have done it yeah. preemptively instead of you know waiting for an incident to occur so. Mm -hmm. Is there a particular amount that you were asking for? I, 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 it, it would appear that this did not go through the uh, sewer system, correct? Because it was, it, yeah, well, I would assume it. There's a, there's a water meter going up? Post, whatever. Well, I don't see a secondary meter. I mean, it was a water heater, correct? That let go in your basement? Let go in the basement? Yes. So, yeah, so, the, the, water, so the water went through the water meter, but the water seeped into your basement floor or you pumped it out the basement window or uh, yeah so we had a hose that just led into the backyard yeah, so and then so whatever the sub pump could get rid of the sub pump did other than that we had to do it ourselves oh so you had a sub pump and there, there was a sub pump there unfortunately the sub pump is the other end of where the uh, tank is so by the time that whatever reached the sub pump was like the it's not pitched the towards there though or anything. pardon me the basement floor isn't pitched toward the or slanted toward the uh no, it's actually almost slanted towards where the water tank is and like the basement door, so. Okay. Uh, usually in these cases, when the water doesn't go through the sewer system, we abate uh, the sewer amount, so it'd be favorable. Oh, the, the addition of the excess uh, right. sewer amount? Yeah. And what would that be? Do you know what that is? And the, uh, and the normal sewer charges? Well, it looks like it's, it, this bill looks like it's double, so I would assume right. it's probably around 50 bucks, right, I guess. Yeah, 55. So the normal is 55, and what was the charge? 150. So we want to abate it by $100? That sounds uh, Sounds reasonable. Like move to abate it by hundred dollars. It's okay. Any, uh, any discussion, Mr. Director? Anything you want to add? No oh, problem. Okay. All those in, uh, all those in favor, right? Aye. Aye. Those opposed. The motion passes. Thank you. Thank you. That's Waterford Street next to Pelly Street, I guess. Yes. Service Committee, uh, 
with regard to city council on your appeal of a water bill or water sewer bill that you received? Yes, sir. What would you like to tell us? So, if you look at my previous water bills, um, I have starting in, you know, uh, July of 2022, they're all between four and max $500. And then we had one for the uh, period of 11-17 to 2 8, and it was for 716. But during that period, on uh, I believe it was December 1st, we had a water main break at the end of our street. And I know typically those don't affect your water bills, but hey, it's okay. Look. Oh, you're okay. Quit your belly. So I know those typically don't affect your water bill unless like you know you got to take into account that so the water main break was on i believe it was a wednesday or thursday the project wasn't complete until monday but water was returned that day although water pressure was severely affected it was you know a lot higher than normal until they finished fixing whatever was fixed which i believe was until Monday or Tuesday of the next week and then also there was a lot of brown water that had to be drained out of the you know um, out of the lines so I waited you know I waited to file the uh, abatement to see if it would go back down to normal levels and it has you know this bill is you know normal mid force and then the one that I expect to be receiving very soon. I looked at the water meter, did the quick math, and it should be, you know, right around 26, uh, 2,600 in usage. So that leads me to believe that this high width water bill was directly affected by the water meter. So what is it that you're asking us to do? Uh, adjust it down to normal levels. And, and it's your claim that you had to run the water longer because of the water? Yeah, we had and to you run. And you didn't mention that in your, your original note. Yeah. Letter. That's right. something new after you found out that uh, <laughs> the water main break may not have uh, affected you. No, I, I, you know, I'm thinking back to it, you know, I, my wife reminded me of that part. So. Oh, yeah. Mommy, mommy, mommy. Um, well, unfortunately, we have water breaks throughout the city, and um, we don't get claims of increased water bills um, due to a water break. So I, I do not believe it was caused by the water break itself, which we discussed. Um, as far as running the water because of it, um, I can understand that it would be a, an increase, a slight increase in that, um, but at a penny a gallon, um, if you were running even 500 gallons, it wouldn't make this much of a difference in a bill. I personally believe there was something on the property, whether it was a toilet leak or, or something. I uh, I check all the toilets quarterly. Uh, you know, put a little food coloring in the back and see if they leak. You know, because it's multi-family property, so I. You know, so how many how many units are in the property? So it's two units up and down. We live on the first floor. Tenants upstairs. So I check all the toilets on the property quarterly. Or you don't know if the lieutenant may have left the faucet running or something. I mean, yeah, I asked them. They said they didn't, you know, but I mean, that's always possible. They could have left it running longer because of the brown water. It could be the change in the water pressure. It could be a lot of things, but that's also why I waited to see if it would come back down to normal levels, and it has. So that's, you know, if nothing on the property was fixed, Nothing changed. There was no added yes in the house. There was no, you know. I understand. Obviously, there's one only one meter for both units, though. So these yeah, yeah, yeah. Pretty sure where it's coming. Yeah, uh, coming from. Um, I mean, the lack of lack of fixing anything and it's going down on its own. Just as the director said, normally this isn't a, a case where. Um, water wasn't used that this don't affect the water going through the meter at your house. Um, being said it did run um, it did run the water there was some times uh, so some water use there. Um, 
be open to, to you know, bidding in a small amount, um, saying it is a bit higher. I don't think it can go all the way down to the, the normal, but I'd be comfortable with you know, picking it with $75 for you and getting it closer to your normal bill. And I move to do so. Second. Motion made and seconded to abate the uh, bill by $75. Any discussion? I, I would say to keep an eye on it. Uh, yeah. I appreciate you coming in and being diligent, especially with it being a multifamily residence. Uh, but yeah, this is a very uh, unusual case. So. I think you might want to consider you know, making sure that your tenant knows that they have a duty to keep your water in use at normal level. Oh, I, I suspect it might have something to do with that. All those in favor? Aye. 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 Those opposed? Motion passed. Thank you. Okay, you're welcome. Have a good day, gentlemen. You too. Thank you. Thanks for coming in. Thank you. Come on, please. Next is Connor Street, 184. Good morning. Morning. Come in. Have a seat. Thank you. This is a meeting of the Public Service Committee of the Garden City Council to consider your appeal of a water and sewer bill that you received that was received for 184 Connor Street. Yes. What would you like to tell us? Um, it's my mother's house. She uh, hasn't lived there since April of 22. She had a fall. So she doesn't use any any water. We've gone over my siblings and I to like clean up a little bit. So, and she probably had a runny toilet, which has happened in the past. Uh, I made I was shoveling. I, I, would, I go over there and maintain her property, and I may have not noticed if it was running or not. Never went in for a period of time because it was winter. I just get her mail, shovel, leave, go home because I take care of her at my house in Templeton. Mm -hmm. So. Um, I fixed the toilet. It was just the um, fill, fill valve. I just needed to pull it apart and clean it, and that it resulted. Okay yeah. yeah. So um, what, during what period of time did this uh, did this accumulate? Did the extra bill? I guess this uh, 23 in February, January, February. The first two. quarter between February yeah, and yeah, May. May. Yeah. Yeah. So the winter first time. quarter of the year, anyway. Yeah. yeah. Um, I, at, when I got the notice in the mail, I shut off her, the water to the toilet right away. And, um, and you've got the subsequent bill and it was back down to where it normally is? Or, um, or the minimum? She wouldn't have got a bill yet. Uh, it's coming shortly, but we did check her meter and it looks like it's dropped back down to a normal. A normal unit. Okay. Yeah. I paid uh, $200 good faith because I know her bill was always but their water sewer trash was always like less than 150 I paid 200 just just you know to cover her usual thing um, so okay how's she doing better she's getting stronger We're trying to figure out will she go back do we yeah. sell the house you know she's getting stronger all the time oh, that's good. Um, she's more mobile but I still have to help her to the bathroom um, dressing feeding yeah. feeding her uh, but she's come a long ways she almost died she was in hospice so she was bedridden but yeah she's coming along so yeah. thank you for asking yeah. uh, I think uh, you know your mother had taken a fall and, and had to leave the house on an emergency basis it wasn't like a, a vacation uh, so right right yeah uh, she was hospitalized for a week then they sent her home with hospice, brought her to my house. It was better uh, to be there. My siblings all came. It was a, a rough 10 weeks, all my siblings living under my roof. I live in a condo. Sure. I'm sure. <laughs> but uh, yeah, uh, and then, so yeah. Question. Well, it was good that they all came. Yeah. Yes, the yes, it was great. Right. Yeah, to have, I think that's what gave her the strength and will to live. And yeah, very good. So. And question for the director is, so you had said $200 was paid uh, on this uh, On that bill, yeah. What, what would be outstanding then? Is it the... Of that the bill, it would be... Set by three. Yeah, five hundred three. Five hundred three. I consider a 
abating it. I'd consider abating five hundred three dollars due to the circumstances, and um, that that that's my motion. Second. Motion made and seconded to abate the uh, uh, billing uh, for that property at, for by uh, five hundred three dollars. Is there a discussion on the motion? Huh? All those in favor, right? Aye. Aye. Those opposed. Motion passed. Great. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. <laughs> Thank you so much. Best of luck with you, Mom. She has to yes. use any water. She doesn't put her trash out. <laughs> Thank you so much. Thank you for the good pay yeah. too, as well. Yeah. Okay. Oh, that wouldn't feel good. Yeah. 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 And your trash is not just going to be on top of it. Yeah, right. Yeah. <laughs> and it's easy, easy too when she's already made a good pay payment. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. Shows good faith, exactly. Yeah. 109 Main Street. How far into uh, the road would the cut on this be? Uh, on this one, it's for gas. Um, I don't know what gas line is up there. There's, There's no one here from the um, road over here. Huh. And he was notified. Yeah. 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 He replied yesterday that he would. I remind him all. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> That's early in the morning for some people. Yeah. Um, well, why don't we just hold it for the time being and see it? Somebody arrives okay. before the end of the meeting. Okay. And let's decide what to do with that. Okay, next we have minutes of the uh, meeting of August 3rd, tw uh, 2023. Move to waive the reading of the minutes and accept that as presented. Second. Any discussion? Motion made and seconded to uh, uh, dispense with the reading of the minutes and uh, approve them as presented. All those in favor say aye. Aye. Those opposed? Motion passed. Now, National Grid, our favorite uh, item. Uh, looks like there's some progress, though. Uh, uh, the mayor was able to find uh, the uh, correspondence that he had received that had been sent to him by uh, Department of Transportation uh, people regarding the status of the project. And, the, and what I take from it is the need to memorialize or, and agree to uh, um, any takings that might be, the payment for any takings that might be necessary associated with the new, uh, uh, the alternate plan for the uh, poles and wires. Uh, is that what your understanding is as well? Um, it may actually, partially that, but also the project as a whole, since um, they're pushing the schedule out, um, I believe there's a memorandum of understanding right. that the city was going to cover additional costs or, um, related to the project being pushed forward and basically the city's committing to the project so that they can continue on their end to uh, keep things moving forward. And we received a correspondence from the mayor yesterday indicating that he had originally had trouble uh, with the, the, that email from DOT going into his junk mail, but he was able to identify it and uh, review it and indicated that he was supportive of it and he would sign it. So I assume that will be done within, if it hasn't been done already, uh, will be done in a timely manner, uh, and that will uh, at least clear the DOT's concerns about that aspect of it. Uh, Correct. And um, then when DOT gives the okay and permits National Grid to include the alternate plan in a petition for a poll, then we'll be in, we'll be in, a, in business. In business. There. It would appear that that would be the process. but. Sounds like there's a little more to it than just the National Grid. Yeah, the, the National Grid's hands are tied at the moment because Mass DOT is It's not, controlled by DOT. Yeah, not letting any further work happen at the moment until issues, the memorandum is signed by the mayor. and So there'll be some time still before we hear anything back, I believe. Okay. I suppose the question is, do we want, is going to have to, the petition's going to need to change because of the plan change? Um, question is, I think, do we want to keep it on our agenda uh, and wait? Or, and uh, I, I get a feeling this is going to carry over into the new year, potentially. Yeah, I don't think this is going to be resolved anytime soon. So uh, this would be a, a matter probably for the new, uh, newly appointed uh, Public Service Committee after the first of the year. I won't be here. You gentlemen may or may not. And, and, uh, I wonder whether we should recommend that it be removed from the calendar for the time being and 
awaiting further uh, information from National Grid and DOT. I don't see any reason to keep it on here. Or it's going to be materially changed. Yeah. Uh, right, right. right. So. It would be a new. Would it make sense to ask them to withdraw the petition until changes are made? Because um, essentially. Uh, yeah, it's, it's, yeah, that's true. It'll be a new petition. I mean, the poll locations are changing, and um, I mean, it could, I suppose, file updates to it. But Why don't we, yeah, that makes more sense. That probably makes more sense to, it, it would be their initiative to withdraw it. Um, and uh, so, and th that's something you can communicate, I can communicate uh, to them. So I'd entertain a motion that uh, we ask that we have the engineer communicate with the National Grid, seeking, requesting withdrawal of the petition pending uh, new action from uh, from DOT. So, uh, so second. Yeah. Any further discussion <laughs> on it? All those in favor, say aye. Aye. Those opposed. Motion passes. So I think what, for purposes of the next meeting, um, until we get a response from National Grid, we should, probably should, should ask for more time. Agreed. Mm -hmm. Okay. That covers it. Good luck with the, uh, when it comes up again. <laughs> well, at least it should be straightforward when it comes back. Yeah, well, we, well, yes, so we hope. Okay, department updates. Mr. Director, floor is yours. Well, uh, we are completed with the tree removal up on uh, Park and Eaton Street. We took down, uh, it was like 96 trees we took down up on Park and Eaton to get more sun onto the street and uh, avoid the freezing and thawing of the, of the street. Uh, the base coat is down and it should be completed with a brand new uh, guardrail on both sides of the street and sections actually uh, if you take a ride up there it looks looks really nice it's uh, something we're going to be looking forward to moving forward is putting new guardrails where they need to in the city it is expensive it's about 50 bucks a foot on, uh, uh, on the downside of uh, on the west and north side where yeah wherever a vehicle can comes around a corner and could possibly keep going straight we try yeah to, the slope is pretty steep in certain parts of that yeah, yeah. so we're going to be looking that's complete. We are going to be looking at that in other streets as we move forward. So it is going to chew up a little bit of the budget, but it's just uh, we don't think they've been done in 30 years in the city. So just to start replacing them. Um, so that's completed. Uh, should be done today. And then top coat should be probably within a couple of weeks they'll be in and, and that road will be completed. Um, I guess we mentioned Park Street. Parker Street is done. Uh, we are, as soon as we get complete, uh, notification from the city, uh, from, sorry, from the state on Partridge Street that uh, the funds have been reimbursed to the city. The request will go in to get Keys Road done. So we're looking at trying to get that, at least the contractor in there mid-September to late September, which is right around the corner, uh, to do the Keys Road, Rugby, Watkins area. So that's that's on the docket as well. Uh, DPW is up uh, installing, it's actually replacing a drain on the intersection of, it's on Cross Street is the drain and it runs out onto Elm Street. Um, it goes up maybe a couple hundred feet. The roots got in that drain and just completely plugged the drain where the water was coming right up out of the catch basins and flowing out into the street. So that, that got replaced. Um, we have a new 10-wheel dump that is, should be arriving at the DPW shortly uh, to replace one of the older ones. Uh, it's about a 15, 18-year-old dump truck that we're replacing. Um, so that should be coming in shortly. Um, we did have a sweeper, which it was new. We got it, it wasn't working properly, so uh, the company that we purchased it from agreed to take it back, and we're getting a new one. Uh, that should be showing up at the end of September, or unfortunately it's gonna miss the parade, uh, but it should be showing up at the end of September or October at the, at the latest. We completed a round of dam inspections for our water uh, up at um, Pearly Brook Reservoir in Cowie Brook, and this Cowie Pond. Uh, there's some vegetation that we're going to have to re remove because it's growing up around the spillway so we have to meet with conservation and um, just determine what's necessary to get that done uh, being so close to the reservoir and the spillway and whatnot. Uh, there will be a pickleball. Um, Is there any, any indication of, of blockage uh, or just uh, this just anticipating that it, uh, there may be blockage to the spillway? 
But it's just it's growth. Vegetation. It's just vegetation is growth. It's still it's still active. Okay. Uh, it's just we need to cut it back and okay. you know, give it a little bit more room. Um, but no, it's not blocked. Um, community development actually got a grant to purchase some uh, pickleball equipment. Um, so we're going to be running that up to Leo Drive, the new park that they built up there, uh, and installing it. It's it's not permanent. It's going to be something that if people want to play, they can slide out and play pickleball. It's a brand new court up there. It's actually real. They did a really nice job. So that's going to be added to uh, the city's parks and playgrounds. Something, that, something new. So what type of a, was it? Like netting and stuff? Or it, it? It's a pickleball net, it's it's, net but it's something that they can that it, you can still play tennis. You can move it out of the way. Right. It's not. It's not. So you, gotcha. it, the net retracts or something? No. Yeah. You just slide it. It's not across the right. Yeah. Gotcha. Um, they're going to be adding, and again, this is another community development project that they got some uh, picnic tables that are going to be done put down the dog park underneath the pavilion down there. There was some talk of more picnic areas at the dog park, so that will be added um, as well. Up at City Hall, we're replacing some shrubs uh, around the front. There's about eight shrubs that are dying, so we, we're going to be pulling those out and replacing them up there. The line painting, we got part of it done, you might have noticed. Um, it's rained out every night since the company's tried to reschedule and come in, uh, but there's one more round of them to come in and finish doing the some of the center lines and the and the gutter lines, and that should be wrapped up. It should be noted uh, over the last like six years, the cost of line painting's doubled. Uh, it's gone from yeah, eighteen grand just, just the paint itself, I think. Yeah, yeah. and the, obviously labor costs and whatnot. So we used to pay eighteen, we're paying thirty six grand. Um, so that's line painting. If you could bring up the parade, there's one last thing. Just for I'd like to just get this out. Uh, the, the parade. The city is having a parade on September 17th. It's on a Sunday. Uh, it will start at Waterford Street School and it will go up Elm Street around the Rotary. Starting at Elm Street. Yeah. Starting at Elm. Rotary, I thought. Uh, starting at Elm Street. You said Waterford. I'm sorry. Starting at Elm Street. Starting at Elm Street, heading north up Elm, around the Rotary, uh, south on Central to the center of town, down Parker, and end at Waterford Street School. Um, police and DPW are working together to um, obviously to, for the road closures. We've sat down at several meetings with the police department. Uh, there's over 30 road close, closures on this route uh, and there'll be a lot of police details at uh, intersections that help the public you know, get to where they need to go. Um, it should be noted that that route will be closed uh, to traffic so plan accordingly. Uh, it will be closed at 12:30 on that Sunday, and it will be reopened around 3:30 at the end of the at the end of the um, parade. There'll be no parking on that route uh, well, that Sunday morning from 7 a.m. to 4. Well, so, will routes open up progressively as the parade passes by? Uh, I believe that's what they did in the past. As they go, as they go by, do they yeah. uh, open up uh, once the back of the Right, it's clear. Yeah, I believe that's what they do, and there's be a police escort or something. But we'll, that will be finalized. But I believe it will be opened up as it as it goes along. And it would make sense to keep it all closed up if the parade is passed. Yeah, but it's it's quite an undertaking because not only do you have road close signs now, if you back up on the streets prior to that, you have to notify the public not to go down that street. So it's um, to be clear, road close means road close. Road close to through traffic means you can go around the sign if you have to, if you live down the street, but if you do not and you're trying to get somewhere else, I would not recommend going around the road close to through traffic sign. It's just once every hundred years. Okay. But I just wanted to, just so but people plan accordingly uh, mm -hmm. for the traffic. So there'll be notices uh, public, public, published. This map will be uh, just tweaked a little bit and it will be put on social media. Uh, we. We're going to be putting out signage. Actually, it's already being done, I believe, Monday. Uh, the sign department will be putting out signs on the route, just notifying. I saw some signs already notifying people that roads were at least above the parade, too, yeah. already. I don't know if I said anything about whether it's being closed or not. But the message board yeah. that we have out at uh, the Uptown Rotary is mentioning it. And we'll, we'll at the end of Pearson by Williams. Yes. The one there. It will, uh, we'll update the, the flashing sign as the parade gets closer with more details just about the parking and things like that. So again, Elm Street to Waterford Street. Any questions? That's, that's all I got. 
Uh, how are we doing with staffing? Uh, we did, I think since the last time we spoke, I have hired a laborer, mm -hmm. um, done some interviews, but um, still short. Still right. short. Okay. And I have two retirements coming up this year as well. Yeah, the dean just came by. Hang it up as clean, huh? Yeah. yeah. With Mackie Parker's DPW doing that as well, the tier, or is that an outside uh, company? Mackie Park is bid out by Community Development. Okay. Um, that's a private contractor. Okay. We do have some work to do in there prior to the contract. We have to run some electric conduit and whatnot. But. Okay. I was, I, I don't, do you have an idea? I, I heard there's going to be formal boards there. Are they going to be the concrete ones? I've seen those before. Do you have any knowledge on how that's going to address the contractor? Yeah, I did. That's how it works. Um, questions when you're considering guardrails throughout the city. I know Crystal Lake Cemetery has a few Jersey barriers. I think uh, one's about to let go. <laughs> yeah, okay. Uh, but I know it's, it's expensive, so yeah, something to consider. We'll do. Just want to uh, just comment on the uh, Water Street sidewalk that was completed uh, since our, our last meeting. And, yes. Uh, you know, the uh, process of doing it was, I thought, I live nearby was, uh, you know, it was well done. You know, the crew was uh, respectful to the uh, neighbors. I thought and you could hear them get geared up at 6:45 every morning, and uh, and the response I've gotten, although disappointment, nonetheless uh, appreciation for the uh, work that was the manner in which the work was done and the quality of the work that was done. I will relay that to the crew. Please do. Has it, have you received any other feedback uh, from it since uh, it was completed or during, you, during the job? I, um, while the guys were working there, uh, they said the neighborhood was great to work with. I really, they got you know coffee and everything else from the, from the residents. It was hot. Much, and they're part of that. Yeah, yeah. It, was no, it was a good good area to work in. Okay, thank you. Back to the, the sweeper. I, I think I reached out to you before. Obviously, with not getting a new sweeper until probably October. What's the likelihood of how many streets will get swept or anything yeah. get swept or? I would, I would think they'll all get swept they will uh, and then come in in the fall, we'll, we gotta go back again to pick up the leaves, but yeah, they should be. Should be tied. Yeah. It doesn't help that we're getting this rain events that we're getting because it's washing and eroding. This is causing a lot of erosion, even yeah. on private property, it's washing out into the street, so. That's what they, I think you remember on Summer Street, someone, I think there's someone in there who has a gravel driveway, everything's obviously washing down, so one of the neighbors and sends a bunch of items in the road, and I had let them know that the sweeper was, my understanding was down, but I want to just update them of whether they Yeah, I will double check to make sure, but I, I think we've got about 75% of the city done anyway. It, okay. it doesn't look in an areas because again, we'll sweep it and then it pours out that night. And, so that was, and the salt shed status? Uh, no, no salt shed this year. I mean, we're just gonna have to work out of our existing one. Okay, anything else for the direction? Good enough, Mr. Engineer. Um, I just have um, one quick update. And the last time we talked about um, the ongoing uh, or the, the design for the pedestrian bridge over 140, um, I was looking for funding for that. And SDOT had communicated to me that they were open to work with us on that. Um, since then, the city is also working with Central Mass Regional Planning on grants. Um, we were advised of a grant that might apply. We looked at it. Um, there were discussions with Mass DOT about them and this grant. So what has happened since then is um, Mass DOT agreed to um, cover the difference if we get this grant, which is a federal grant. It's, it's a RAISE grant. I forget what the acronym stands for, but it's through rural and tribal portion of the Federal Highway Administration. Um, we applied for $320,000 from them. Mass DOT had indicated that they'll cover the rest should we get that grant. So that's been applied for. We're just waiting to hear. So mm -hmm. um, hopefully that we'll get news on that in a month or two and, and know how we're proceeding um, with that design. That's all I think. All I think. Questions? Questions? Comments? The director? Conservation Commission, she has indicated by email that she had nothing new to offer. Any concerns about that? Uh, okay. Council requests. I think Caroline, thank you. This is uh, 
couple. One was a resident, I think it was already reached out on Summer Street about a light pole, uh, the status of getting the light was out, getting fixed. It's probably going to click back by only, I don't know. Um, person aware of that can check into it. I can check into it. Yeah. Um, a lot of them come in. Um, it's probably already in the list. That I think residents, and I always advise residents of this when they contact me, is that it could take a few weeks mm -hmm. to get them fixed because the contractor's only in once a month or so. Um, so that could be the case, but so I'll check on summer. She had morning. said that was indicated to her, but she had asked about something else as well, and um, I said I'd check with the community. Sure, so I'll look into it. Um, and on Mill Street, um, I have a resident there at the trees um, near their property on the road in front of a house that he states are dead and falling into the road, and they, the residents there are picking them up and throwing them in the woods. We just checked, it's 311 Mill Street. Just someone checked to see if they're tree trees and something we can help with. Yep, that would. And that's it. There we go. I guess. I want to check to see if somebody's here about Main Street. Say yes or no, but uh, I'm not persuaded that uh, I want to hear either from, it would be fair. No, I want to hear from the, uh, the owner. So. Yeah. Okay, we, we just keep it on the agenda for next uh, next meeting. Just um, for next meeting, I don't know what it is, but I'm leaving on vacation on September 13th and be gone that Thursday, Friday, and the following week. So probably won't be until beginning or the Thursday, Friday, or the October first meeting or the first meeting in October. Okay. And uh, you know, I got the sense from Mr. Molina that there was some urgency to uh, to his desire to cut into the air. Uh, uh, I'm surprised that he, there's nobody here. No. But to suggest the urgency may not have been as urgent. Or something more urgent came up, I don't know. Yeah, well, it's a matter of degree, I guess. Yes. OK, we'll do it. We'll Thank All those in favor, aye. 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 Motion. Motion passes. Thank you. Thanks, guys. Thank you all.